So uh, this one's vacant, one next door, also vacant. This uh, unit right here has been vacant for years. In fact, I think most of this little area right here uh, is vacant. But this one right here, windows all covered up, 100% vacant. So another one right here, uh, empty. Let's just check. Yeah, it's completely empty. Closed. So here's another one. This one, um, this one's been empty for years. This has been gone for years. This is one of my past videos. It used to be a real estate office. So pretty good sized building. So uh, the, it's the oldest agent right there, apparently. Uh, and this is uh, the parking area. It's a really nice office. Really nice, but uh, this one's been vacant for years, ladies and gentlemen. Did this video, did this one on my, one of my last videos probably six, seven, eight months ago. This was on one of my past videos also. This has been being under, it's been under construction for a couple years at least. And uh, I haven't seen anybody working here now for minimally six months, 10 months. Uh, this thing's just been sitting. And um, it's a great idea where you're gonna have uh, commercial or retail down below and residential condos up above kind of like a Vegas thing, it's been becoming more and more popular, but uh, I mean, this thing's been under construction for years now. And uh, again, I haven't seen anybody on the property for six to 10 months at least, that's being conservative. So uh, we'll see what follows, but uh, it's a huge project and um, don't know if it's in trouble or what's gonna happen, but boy, I would hate to be involved in this deal. This was a restaurant. I cannot believe this one is closed. I guess I can believe it, uh, but this one looks like it is closed. Um, I, I don't think uh, this place is open for business any longer. Just looking at the uh, fallen branches back here. And it uh, looks like they're doing some trimming. I don't know, but right now it looks like this one is officially closed. So here's another one, historic cork and bottle building, built in 35, <sighs> closed. And uh, what's also inter interesting is the building next door, which has tables in front of it. Uh, this isn't even part of this restaurant. It's the restaurant next door, um, still closed. This is another closed building. So now they're just using this uh, vacant property for another restaurant to park their uh, tables and chairs here. So enclosed uh, for lease if you're interested. Um, we're in prime, prime downtown here. And uh, another one, another one, another one closed. Uh, it's refreshing. Last time I was here, there was no water in the fountain. So it's good to see water back in the fountain but i'm gonna tell you the uh the, the tiles are dirty uh the, the furniture is dirty and this building and this and the grounds here are not being kept up like they should there's a beer can in there uh there's rocks just in here and, and tiles are falling apart uh this was not how the hyatt of palm springs used to be this was a trophy property and now look at this look at this i mean algae growing in the in the fountain I mean, it's a, it's a disaster. It's sad to see it. it. It really is. A complete ghost town here in the high. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. It's a ghost town. Complete ghost town.
So guys, we're at the uh, Hyatt, downtown Palm Springs, and I, this property is a mess. This used to be an absolute trophy property. And uh, we're out here by the pool. I want you to just take a look at the, uh, at the property. I mean, how filthy it is. And there's really nobody even here. A couple people, a handful of people at the pool. Um, but, you know, this property hasn't been landscaped in probably a year. Uh, hasn't been pressure washed. Uh, it, look, I mean, just look, look at this stuff. I mean, the flooring's just coming up. It's stained. Chairs just thrown all over the place. Um, wow. You know, uh, back in the day, this was just such a beautiful, beautiful property. And as we're down here today, Dan wanted to come out and check out the downtown Palm Springs area. And I haven't shot a video down here in a few months, so we're, we're, we're back here. And uh, you know, there's some signs of life and there is a lot of, a lot of signs of disaster. A lot of damage has been done here. But uh, as we're out here today, we're gonna share with you what's going on. And uh, there's already a handful of vacancies. Uh, many of them been vacant for more than a year. So uh, it, it, it just doesn't seem like things are getting much better. And when I see a property like this, uh, it's really horrifying uh, to see the damage because uh, you, you think of the money that the Hyatt has and, and the amount of money they were able to borrow yet property is in shambles so um, just uh, wanted to show that to you share that with you and we're gonna continue on you spent a lot of time here back in the day as I, I did when I was living in Chicago absolutely I spent so much time here in my teens 20s and 30s and um, I'm excited to take a look around, and from what I've seen already, you guys are in for a treat because it's not the same. Now, we're here at the Hyatt, the beautiful Hyatt, right downtown in the center, literally the center of downtown Palm Springs. And I remember as a kid when this was being built in the 80s, uh, this was a premier trophy property. I've stayed here. This was the most elegant place to stay in the desert. It was just lavish, it was luxurious, it was beautiful, the food was fantastic. The place was just immaculate, and it is just not that way anymore. I mean, it is so we walk in, it's a ghost town. Yeah. The, the lobby, the it's just a complete ghost town. Nobody's in there. There's um, maybe 20 people down here at the pool. It's a beautiful 90 degrees. It's perfect. Perfect day. Um, and what's, what's odd is when we were in the hotel, they're not even running air conditioning. No, there's no air conditioning. We're on the second story deck, and there's nobody here on the second story deck. And this place is abandoned up here. It's dirty. Uh, the the chaise lounges are ripped, and it's just it's unbelievable. Yeah, absolutely unbelievable. It, it, it's just unbelievable how such a premier trophy property uh, has been let go. And uh, you know, I understand that things have been closed down, but uh, nobody was taking care of the property here for, for sure. But no air conditioning right now. 90 degrees out. It's hotter inside the hotel than it is outside here by the pool. Uh, 20, 25 people max at the pool. Um, the furniture is falling apart. The the uh, flooring is stained. The tiles are coming up. Um, the trees. Look at the, look at the trees. That, that, there's not even a tree in the yeah. in, in the pot the there. The pool deck's ripping up. It's a mess. Uh, everything's mess. dying around here. So just like the economy, but uh, garbage laying around. So. Uh, this is pretty much starting out the day with what we figured we were going to see. Uh, I've shot videos in the past, but uh, we're going we're gonna to shoot one today for you, show you uh, what's happening in Palm Springs. Uh, there's, there's some positives, there's some negatives, but we're here to point out what's happening financially. And uh, already since we've been here in the first half an hour, there's been a handful of vacancies. But this is really, this stands out to me, Dan. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's so, it's very sad because of how bad it is. I mean, really, it places just, it's in complete shambles, and it's just, it's embarrassing that this was a place that I had such fond memories of. It's just completely run down. It's, you know, it's the, it's the, the Motel 6 is better than this place right now. Yeah, I mean, if you're paying more than $99 a night to stay here, you're paying too much. Uh, it is really, really appalling to see how they've allowed this property to fall apart. Um, but again, it's a sign of the times. And we'll continue the journey today in downtown Palm Springs. Uh, it's not pretty, ladies and gentlemen. It's not pretty, but this is uh, what's really happening. So one thing um, I notice more and more out here is the amount of homeless people, Dan, and they're literally everywhere. 
it's it's crazy. There's a ton of homeless people out here, a ton of closed businesses, a ton of weed shops. The smell of weed is like everywhere right now. It's 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 unbelievable. It's nothing like I've ever seen before. CBD shops, cannabis. It's it's nuts. Absolutely nuts right now. So you know when things are getting bad, um, Cathedral City, Desert Hot Springs, Palm Springs. They resort to the drug business apparently. Uh, a lot of these cities now uh, have a lot of the uh, retail marijuana shops, the grows. Uh, Coachella Valley now known for its massive grows and massive uh, marijuana business. So, um, you know, they've absorbed uh, some of the hits here, they've absorbed some of the vacant buildings. Uh, just really crazy as a kid being down here when I was five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old. When this town really had charm and class, um, it's, it's oasis, changed. It was a desert oasis that we would come to. It was an absolute treat to come down here. My parents would take me down here and, and we'd swim and hang out. And, and it was just beautiful. It was such a, such a treat. And it's just, it's gone. It's just gone. Yeah, it's really gone. lost that, that mystique, that, that charm. Uh, it really has lost that feel. Now, you know, it's another flip-flop city and uh, just a lot of people just come down here party for a weekend and uh you know trash trash the place and go back and like i'm not t saying that about everybody there's a lot of good people come out here and there's still a lot of really nice stuff here about the desert but it is definitely changing it has changed it's become such a tourist attraction now filled with casinos and so it's different but uh uh looking at the town uh the vacancies the trash uh the homeless crisis going on down here. It is not the same town it used to be, no, no doubt about it. So here's another one. Completely boarded up, locked, chained. Um, gone. Another one here, Peabody's. This was very, very, very popular. Gone. Gone. Right here, Project Utter Consideration. Zone. CBD. So this is what it's going to take to fill vacancies here in Palm Springs now. More marijuana, more CBD. So here's another one. Completely vacant. whole corner here on Bristol Road and Palm Canyon vacant the building right across the street right there in the corner was vacant for probably over a decade now it's a weed store a huge one they're popping up everywhere talking to down here you know the, the vacant buildings are definitely a problem but what's so fascinating is is how many of the buildings now are, are being taken up by the weed industry. There are dozens and dozens and dozens. There's a bank that is, <laughs> it's the 420 bank dispensary. It's, a, it's an absolute weed dispensary. There's one up here that's curbside pickup. There's people smoking in the street. It's absolutely crazy. It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, this, this town has really, no doubt, really, really changed. But I mean, everywhere you go, you smell it, you know it. Um, and you know, some people say, well, hey, that's probably good, you know, for the economy of, of Palm Springs, it's helping. But man, how, how much of society is being dumbed down by this crap? I mean, people becoming more and more dependent on their pharmaceuticals, on their weed. We've got more and more vacancies as we leave this town. Yeah, we're going to hit that one. Vacancies here, yep. and you've got more dispensaries. I mean, it, it's crazy. It's, it's there's so, so many. So I guess the economy in areas like this will just be supported by the drug business, um, by the weed business, and, and uh, casinos, I guess. Right? And casinos. So this is what you know is happening out here. It's it's weed and casinos. This is what's keeping us uh, alive, I guess, uh, because we don't make anything out here. Uh, people don't really have any other options to other than to work at Walmart or retail or they work in weed or the casino. There's another one right here. And uh, that's the building back there. Large building, good size building. Dan, what say you? 
it's sad, man. This place is just a mess. It's there's another one right behind you, all covered up in in a papered up window. Yeah, it's just there's there's weed shops galore down here. It's just. Uh, it's, I mean, look at the trash yeah. over there at the uh, right. People aid. sleeping on the streets. People smoking on the street. People urinating is, on the streets. Yeah, it, it's nuts. But it is just. So I'm gonna walk back across the street. There's a another shop here. Show this to you. And it's all covered up. So this one, uh, apparently, whatever it was, is gone. That uh, comes all the way down. So, corner building, big building. Empty. So it looks like a uh, LA broker. There's the number. Pack West Management. There you go. Give him a call. Uh, this was a doggy care facility. Now closed. Gone. So, yeah, yeah, this is it. This was a beautiful restaurant back in the day. Gone. Thank you.